to them now. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Satra Supasai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting from the red corner, 25 years of age, he's not at 182 centimeters tall, and weighing minute and 40 pounds. He holds record of 75 wins, 24 losses, and two draws. He is former Thai Fight Champion, and RWS Super Lightweight Semi-Finalist, and former Russia the Stadium Super Lightweight Champion, representing Suratani Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for the sweeper, Pat Tong Chai So Soma. His opponent fighting of the blue corner, 22 years of age. He's down at 175 centimeters tall and weighed at 140 pounds. He will record of 17 wins and two losses. He is Russia, a Muay Thai champion, representing Azerbaijan. Let's have it for Duras No Muro. First fight of the 140 pound tournament is upon us. Pet Tong Chai, a semi finalist in this tournament, former Rajnamo Stadium champion against the relatively unknown Turag Nuvarov. Beautiful body strikes here from Turag. <laughs> nice right kick to the body in reply from Pet Tong Chai. Again, going to the body. It's so easy throwing that left jab. Biggest challenge of Turak's life for sure. 100%. And again, sneaky left hand to the body. That's three or four now he's connected with already. Oh, nice oh, oh, oh. Left kick in reply from Pet Tong Chai. Because Pet Tong Chai last year lost to Mung Lang Lek. He said after beating Capitan, who was the favorite at the time, oh, oh, oh. he did overlook the semi final. I don't ever overlook no one. Right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Good left hook to the body there from Turak. Pet Tong Chai almost caught him, though, with an elbow strike as he was coming in to roll that body shot. Turak looking busy. He is indeed. Almost looks like he could compete 135 pounds as well. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> looking very small compared to Pet Tong Chai. Another kick to the body there <laughs> by the former Raja champ. Full rack though, bouncing on the balls of his feet, staying busy. Yeah, and you can just see how Pet Tong Chai has got those elbows no. ready. Wow! Oh, both with body strikes. Oh, going up high, trying to sneak one in there on two rack. Fortunately for two rack, had his left hand held high, he's able to block that one. Let's not forget that a knockout will be crucial to get extra points here in the group stage. Very impressed right now from Turak. No ordinary fighter that he's competing against, let's not forget. Oh, yeah. So quick. Peck Tong Chai, though, able to use that right kick. Once again, Turak going through the body with that left jab. This is just one of those fights that you feel like at any second, <laughs> one fighter could go down. You gotta watch for those elbows coming from Pet Tong Chai. Ooh! Seems to have found his blow though, Pet Tong Chai. Mm. Oh, and here comes the elbow I was talking about. Yeah, two right. Well, he had some warning shots, didn't he? He had some warning moments, but Pet Tong Chai finally found that all elusive elbow that he wanted to connect with throughout this round. And that might have won in the round. Relatively close round. And started well from two rack with body strikes. And those kicks to the body and then that elbow might have just taken it for Pet Tong Chai, but a good round from two rack introducing himself to the world of Muay Thai right now. Deep breaths there from Pet Tong Chai. Probably from all those body strikes that he had to absorb. 
Let's have a look at the highlights. There you can see that left hook, Petrochai, looking to counter-strike with the uh, elbow shot. Oof. Good spinning techniques, beautifully done there from Nozorov. Great round of points, I actually with him. So far, Fury very would have, Yes, he's got, gained a lot of confidence from that. Let's see what happens now here in round number two. I'm yeah. sure what we are going to see, though, is a lot more spinning back kick attempts to the body <laughs> from Turak. All right. I'm intrigued. Let's see what happens here in round number two. You can already see Turak ready, bouncing on his feet. Now hands up for Petrochai, pushing forward. Right hand to the body. Ooh. Hand to the head. Luckily for Petrochai, able to just deflect that shot. The pinch is definitely not the place Turak wants to be in against Petrochai. Absolutely. Oh. Totally sure what happened there. Seems fine. Awesome. <laughs> Once again, stabbing left hand to the body. <laughs> that Tong Chai stabbing that elbow. And again! Good right low kick there from Turak. Seems like he's happy to fight more off the back foot now here. Oh. Respecting the uh, the reach advantage that Pet Tong Chai has over him. There's a right kick. Low kick from Turak. Oh. That stabbing elbow from Pet Tong Chai every time he rolls in. But for him to throw that elbow, he means that Turak's at striking distance as well, Absolutely. which is a little bit of a risk. Oh! Left hand again from Petrochai. Yeah, Turak took that well. But he definitely caused an issue. He's got right hand though from Turak. Yeah, Turak ready to go to war. Something is wrong with his right eye though. Good meaning to the old oh, good hand placement here for Petrochai. This is a worry for Turak within the clinch. Oh, look at that. He's really struggling with the clinch positioning. Good right knee that time as well. A terrible position. Yeah, he needs to stay away from Absolutely. that clinch. I'm assuming he's coming from the world of kickboxing. And you can see when Petron tries straight away, he knows what he's doing. Oh, yes. And again, two right really has to stay away from that clinch. You can see the left side of his body all marked up from those kicks. Here comes Peck Tonchai now, boy. Oh, good left hand there. Good foot movement as well from Turai. He is quick. Oh. Oh. Peck Tonchai eating the right hand, but I don't think he cares as long as he can connect with that kick to the body. Wearing it down the body. We can see blood on the face of Turai now, perhaps on those elbows. Yeah, there is. Nasty cut on the eyebrow of Turak. Oh, and again, the right elbow. It's just the experience of Pat Tongchai right now paying off. Pat Tongchai's had seven fights in RWS. He's currently four and three against some of the highest level of Muay Thai fighters. Looking to extend that to five and three here tonight. So far, so good. And this has been a very good second round now for Pat Tongchai. Opening up that cut and some vicious knees to the body. And probably winning the round. Oh. Now Tura going back to his corner with a cut. Definitely not what you want in a tournament like this. Oh, very true. Because let's remember that they will have to compete again here in a month from now. Let's have a look at the highlights from that round. There. That must have been the shot that could open to right and left high kick as well. And then from there on out, they can see it. After that initial elbow, cut it wide open. A lot of kicks to the body and in knee strikes as well within the clinch from Pet Ton Chai. There's that right high kick. Two right, proving oh. he's Four points for a spectacular knockout in round number three would also be very nice, I'm sure, for two right. Let's see what happens now in round number three. What we do know is that what, from what we've witnessed in round two, he needs to stay away from the clinch. Oh, 
All right. Three minutes. It's been a great fight. Introducing the world too, too, right? I was say introducing the rest of the world, I'm sure. Fighters in Russia and our fans in Russia and Azerbaijan are well aware of him. Very talented. <laughs> There's that right kick. Oh, oh. oh again, looking for that right elbow strike. And a good knee there from Petok Chai as Turak pushes him away. Oh, and again, oh. what into those elbows? So there is some markings though on Petok Chai. Yeah, that sneaky left hand that we just saw from Turak. Not giving up just yet. With that elbow. Petong Chai, almost like a surgeon here tonight with that elbow strike. Elbow. So precise, so precise. Petong Chai not going on the back foot. There you go. That's a great one, Aaron. Perhaps sticking to the game plan that was that has oh. been working since the very first round. And again, elbow strikes. He's the pattern of play here, you can see for Petson Chai. He throws that elbow and then he wraps up to Rack straight away. It's all about not getting hurt right now. Ooh! I think caught and fire instead of yeah. the body. The intended target. Left high kick there from Petson Chai. Just a jab, attempted low kick. Ow! Spinning back kick, but I think Petson Chai caught him first. Of course, you want to be going home with those three points. Not getting injured for your next fight. Five long months Whoa. for the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Trying to show that he can do it, whatever mm. Turak can do as well. I'm not sure that was a oh. move, but that elbow strike, a big difference maker within this fight. No doubt about it. Yeah, those counter elbows have been nasty all night long for Pet Tong Shai. You can see now Turak can't really find his rhythm in order to go in. You have to assume as well that accumulation of the damage to the body is now taking oh. a big toll on the tank. The engine <laughs> of Turak might not have much left in the tank, understandably so. Mm. Another elbow and knee strike there. Oh, his heart. Well, Maybe he's looking for an extra bonus point. Four points if you knock your opponent out, of course, in round number three. And once again, as they close the distance, Surai closes that distance, Petong Chai is waiting for those knives, those elbows of his. Turak looking at the clock right now. Not a great sign. Absolutely. <laughs> and Petong Chai doing the smart thing, tying him up, running down the clock. Seconds away, there it is. Three points for Petong Chai. A great workout for him against a <laughs> relatively unknown fighter in two right, and I'm sure now the rest of the division will be or will know what two rack is about. He is a tough, he's aggressive, he's got speed, he's got spinning techniques as well to go with that. But he, he can keep his head held high, competing against, like I said, a former Rajnanur Stadium champion, a former tournament semi-finalist. He's no easy feat, his first time here at Rajnanur Stadium. And he did well, but he won't be enough against a very impressive Pet Tong Chai. He extends his record here to five and three in RWS. And indeed, we'll put three points on the board for himself. Congratulations to Pecton Chai for here. Look here at the highlights. Ladies and gentlemen of the three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored is about 30 to 27. Declare your winner by way of you do the boss. Great way to open up the tournament for the super lightweights here tonight.